uh, there's a story out there, and I don't, I never followed the Duggars or the Duggars. What, what, uh, what are they? Well, we were just, I was just laughing about this. They were of an age of reality television where everyone was just obsessed with white religious conservative people having a shit ton of kids. We got uh, John and Kate plus eight, and the Duggars, right? And they were really religious, and one of them uh, ended up being a pedophile, shockingly. Now, um, this uh, and ran for Congress, I think. This family, uh, Jessa Duggar uh, Seawald, uh, um, she uh, recently, okay, well, let's hear this is a clip from her video. This is what she's talking about. Her pregnancy here. Yeah, her pregnancy. She was pregnant and they've got, I don't know, four kids and whatnot. And here's the, or, or something like that. And, uh, here she is talking about uh, her pregnancy and how uh, it had to end. Just trying to process through the loss. And we're just sitting there and holding hands and crying and what do we do from here? And I feel like in some ways, missed miscarriages can be so much more jarring because you don't have clear signs of something going wrong. I mean, I had minimal spotting for like 24 hours and that was it. In the end, I ended up having to go see my doctor and because my history of hemorrhaging and all of that, there was concern that if I tried to just take something or pass the baby at home that, that I might have trouble and have to be transported and all of that it just wasn't something that seemed like a very good option and so we decided to go to the hospital get checked in there and go through the process of the dnc it was a difficult experience before getting checked in at the hospital I okay now what's interesting about this is um Current Arkansas law, and I think she was, uh, the, the Duggars were uh, instrumental, not instrumental, but they were pr probably pretty prominent in terms of like uh, helping pass this uh, abortion ban in Arkansas. Current Arkansas law allows for abortions for dead fetuses. She said a DNC, that is, um, what that is, is an abortion. Mm -hmm. That is a procedure where you an abort and a pregnancy and it allows abortions for dead fetuses, but not for living ones, regardless of their prospects of living outside of the womb. And in no time did uh, Duggar say that the heartbeat or any type of electrical impulse that you get, um was not there mm -hmm. she just said she went in to get a dnc which is dilation and curtage so they dilate you and they then perform surgery cutting out the the fetus that's an abortion yes and um this is a classic case of like where these um theocrats you remember there was testimony like over the summer last year where um, someone said that like, if it is um, okay, what was it? What she said, it wasn't an abortion if it was okay with the church or something. Can't remember exactly what the, do you remember what I'm there talking about? That clip, that testimony about yes. If a, if a woman's life is in danger. Oh yes. Then... Yes. That's what it was. The woman said, yeah, if the woman's life is in danger, it's not an abortion. These people believe that an abortion is something that non-God-fearing people get. But when it is done by God-fearing people, it's not an abortion because God says it's okay. It's our rules. That's what's going on here. See if you can find that clip of that woman who, who she is she's testifying and saying, well, no, if it's the life of the mother, it's not an abortion. Yeah. And I also want to point out that there's a very significant likelihood that in this state, someone who didn't have the last name Duggar, have some fame, have some power, might have not been able to get a DNC because 
a New York Times investigation spoke to, you know, people in some of these states. Uh, I'm reading this article where they have this excerpt in the Arkansas Times that doctors and hospitals are turning patients away because they're terrified of legal risk to save a woman's life if she needs this procedure. You need a certain amount of pints of blood before we're going to operate on you. We're hearing these stories, but she's wealthy and I don't know how wealthy she is, but she's at least has some level of fame from being on a reality television show politically connected to the Republican Party. They've been pushing for this for this abortion ban. So she 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 feels safe getting a DNC. Almost every other woman in that state wouldn't feel the same or person who's uh, getting who is pregnant and needs an abortion. Um, it, it, I mean, this is this is the, um, the, the we, we've read many, many stories like that. And this is a, a classic case. Their abortion is not really an abortion because God said it was OK with us. And if my life is saved, well, I'm worthy because I'm a God-fearing person. Yeah, I was praying if, about if, it. Yeah, if your life is, if you need your life saved and you got pregnant out of wedlock, I mean, honestly, it's probably God's will if you die.